It's a little fuzzy. Give me a second here. It's weird. All right. Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. It's time for another live stream. Hello, hello, welcome, Asian Nerd, Adrian Luna, Mr. Firetime, Juan Carlos Gutierrez, Omega Ranger 026, Bryson Evans, Cornelia and LJ Chance, Captain Avenger 1993, very appropriate name, Firepower, Edverse, Edward Sanchez Productions, Doomsday, I love the Avengers, me too. Uh, Power Ranger Reviewer, hey man, it's a birthday today. Happy birthday, Power Ranger Reviewer, that's awesome. Benjamin K, David 13, Rural 52 Tiger, Julius Vega. Welcome, everyone. So, as you can see, um, I've been growing out a beard. <laughs> uh, at least temporarily. I don't think I'm going to keep it for a while, but, you know, I've just kind of been growing it out uh, half due to laziness and then half due to, well, since I'm not really going out in public right now, I might as well grow it out and see how it actually looks and, you know, if it's decent or not. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't, in general, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but I figured, you know, grow it out and see, see how it looks. I like it. Thank you, Omega Ranger 026. Um, also, I am very tired. I had a long day at work and I'm already kind of exhausted, but, so I apologize if my energy is not super high, but I'm going to try my best because I wanted to do a video. I wanted to hopefully get on and talk to you all and hang out. Um, and I need to drink some water too as well because I've just been talking a decent bit today as well from meetings and stuff. Mr. Firetime, the answer to that question is I have every Lightning Collection figure released so far and I have pre-ordered all the ones that are available for pre-order. I am very behind on reviewing them, yes, but I have every Lightning Collection uh, figure uh, and so those reviews will hopefully come soon. Um, okay, so uh, one other question I'll answer and then I'm gonna dive into the topic of this video. Somebody said, do I work from home? I'm working from home now because of the, the coronavirus situation. Uh, so it's been about a month now that I've been working from home. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, I mean, overall, it's not too different. Like I'm an introvert. So like, it's not like super different from what I normally, you know, would do but it's just the fact that like like I've literally been sitting in this room all day long and now I'm here doing more videos and stuff so it's just kind of like I just kind of want to like get out and just you know do something but obviously you know we have to stay inside stay safe and, and all that uh personally I like the beard thank you Trent um so okay so we'll, I'll answer more questions in a little bit but real quick I just want to give an update to what I'm doing today I did this recently with a Fortnite video and I'm doing it now with Marvel Legends I am very behind on, um, I'm very behind on reviews. And it's one of those things that uh, I can look at all this and I get stressed out about how much I have to film. And I know you all are like, when are you going to review this? When are you going to review this? And I look over at that pile of like tons of stuff that's been sitting around for months. And I'm like, I'll get to it because it just stresses me out. So I thought, you know what, look, I'll still review all the Power Ranger stuff, just like I always do, but these other things that I review sometimes, let's just do a big live stream, just open it all up, let's, that way we can do more live streams and hang out while everybody's at home, staying safe, and have some fun with that as well, right? So these are all things that I purchased in the last few months. I did not recently go buy anything. In fact, in the last month, I haven't bought any Marvel Legends uh, figures that you see today. So these are all older figures, so you might have all of them. The The newest figure I pre-ordered on Hasbro Pulse, and it came recently, and that is the Stan Lee figure. So I will be opening up Stan Lee, although I feel like I kind of want to... Do I open them up first or last? I don't know. You guys let me know, but I'll keep them right here. So let me go through all of the things I'm going to review, or, or unbox, rather, and then we'll just start diving into it. So... There's the uh, the two-pack of Loki and Corvus Glaive, which I'm very excited about because I'm glad that they were releasing all of the Black Order members, so that's the one way to get Corvus Glaive. Um, so we've got the two-pack right there. Um, we got the Iron Man Mark 50 and Iron Spider right here, which I wasn't sure if I was going to get, but the Mark 50 one is newer, and the Iron Spider, I don't think I have one that has the spider pieces on the back, 
The figure mostly looks the same as another one I have, but also it's got the Tom Holland face and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I love Spider-Man, so I might as well do it, right? Um, then I picked this up because this is the uh, Captain America and Peggy, Par Peggy Carter two-pack right here. And the thing about this, the Captain America one, while it's cool, um, I wasn't like super like gonna get it except for the Peggy Carter was cool. Anthony, what's up, Anthony? Um, and so, uh, I'm, I'm trying to decompress after a busy, busy day today. Uh, so there's a, uh, Peggy Carter, um, figure that I really liked because she's, Agent Carter is awesome. So, um, wanted to, uh, to, to pick that up. Um, okay, what else? What else am I going to be opening up today? From Ant-Man and the Wasp, they have, uh, X-Con Luis and Marvel's Ghost. The ghost figure was like, okay, ghost was an okay character, but Luis, I mean, this guy was awesome. He was hilarious in the movie. And the fact that they made a figure of Luis, I was like, I, I need it immediately bought. So I got that, which, I, which I'm excited about. Um, ooh, we got the Grandmaster and Korg. Um, again, I got this mostly, I mean, the Grandmaster was, was cool and all, but Korg, Korg is hilarious and awesome. And so again, had to get that two pack. Then we have like single packs. And so there's a few different things that I got here. Um, Valkyrie right here. I got Valkyrie. Um, and so these are the build a, build a figure Thor pieces for the, 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 uh, the fat Thor from the movie. Um, so we got Valkyrie right here. Uh, we also have Captain America. Okay. We have Vision. Now, some of these, again, like I have Vision already from another pack. I got it mostly for the Thor parts. So that's that's really the main reason I did that. Um, we got Heimdall right here. Very awesome, very awesome. We have the Iron Man Mark, I don't even know what number that is, LXXXV, what Roman numeral that is. I don't, we're getting too complicated right now. Uh, but there's there's Iron Man right there. And then Iron Patriot, which admittedly actually looks really cool. I love the way the blue looks on that one. So I'm very excited about that. So definitely looking forward to it. Okay. Um, also, everyone, please, please don't spam the chat. I, I would appreciate it if, uh, if you don't spam. Uh, and then the last two figures I got, this was a... Walmart or Target exclusive? I don't remember which one, but Captain Marvel binary form. So it's Captain Marvel, but like her like um, eyes and hair and arms and stuff are glowing, which I thought was pretty cool. And the one I was really excited about um, as well, and that is Captain America. This is also a Walmart or Target exclusive. I can't remember. I think Walmart. Captain America from Avengers Endgame, and he comes with Mjolnir. He comes with Thor's hammer, which is very, very exciting. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. All right. So uh, let me let me go back to the chat. What, so what do you want me to... Uh, do you want me to do Stan Lee first? So I'm going to do those two packs first, and then the ones that I just showed you. But Stan Lee, do I save him from the end? Or do I just open them up first? So tell me, first or last for, for Stan Lee? Stan last, Stan Lee last, Stan Lee first. Save for end. I, I think we're gonna save him for the end, right? This is the newest one and this is just a classic. Uh, so we'll, we'll save him for, for last. Um, I, I agree there. Okay, so with all that being said, let's jump into this pack first. So the Avengers Infinity War pack right here. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just kind of jump into it. All right. So I'll try and keep an eye on the chat and answer questions as we go. Um, please don't spam the chat though. Um, and, but also, I, you know, I might not be able to answer every question, but I will try and answer what I can. Most wanted Power Rangers team up from Brandon. How long will the stream be? Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get this all done. Uh, with I mean in an hour, but we'll see. Um, that, that might be too too aggressive. 
Um, okay, Power Rangers, Power Rangers team up. I, ooh, um, that's a good question. I mean, I would love to see the Mighty Morphin team come back and team up with someone. You know, like, I know we're kind of getting that with Jason coming back in Beast Morphers, but, like, if we were to get the full team, which I know, like, is, like, probably never going to happen, you know, um, I, uh, I don't know. That's 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 a that's a tough question. I also would would have liked to see team ups for the, some of the teams that didn't get team ups. You know, um, that that would be that would be nice to to see them go back and and try and do. Okay, let me try and plug this in here if I can. So his cape came separate. And it attaches on, but his hair is uh, it's kind of in the way, <laughs> making this actually very difficult to attach. What? This is really weirdly done. Okay, I semi. I think I sort of got that side in. What in the world? Come on now. All right, whatever. Basically, it's supposed to go on, but it's like really struggling to get in with the cape. So that's a downside there with the cape. But I will say Marvel Legends figures, and I guess Hasbro in general. Yeah, whatever. Um, the face. The faces look real good. Um, they do a great, great job at capturing the... Um, the look of all the uh, of all the characters, so that is really really cool. Um, also, he comes with the tesseract, which is just straight cube right there, but it, it's cool. It's cool. Where did I get this hat? I got this from Hot Hot Topic, I think. Like when when Avengers Endgame was was out, I think I think it was from Hot Topic. All right, and then the main reason I got the two pack is for, uh, I believe, what's the final member of the Black Order that there wasn't a figure for until now, finally. Um, and that is Corvus Glaive. This dude is awesome looking. Look at this figure. Look at all the the uh, the detail and design and everything. That's really really cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Really well done. I like that. Um, all right, I suppose I should be coming up with a place to put all these figures as I open them. Uh, that would have required some planning, which clearly I did not do. I guess I'll just set them all here. All right, I'm just gonna keep them all on this desk for now. We'll see how that goes. Tesseract looks like an ice cube. Uh, favorite Power Ranger of all time? Are you so, okay, are you talking like person or like Ranger suit? Uh, if it's Ranger suit, I love, I mean, I'm classic, so I'm gonna go with like the, the OG Mighty Morphin Red, but especially with the Dragon Shield, the armored Mighty Morphin Red. Um, but I also really like the Dino Thunder White Ranger suit. There's a few other ones. Um, but like character wise Ranger, um, uh, I mean, I guess I do like Jason, but I, I also love Jen as Pink Time Force. Um, so that is also pretty cool. All right, here's the Thor Ragnarok set right here with the Grandmaster and Korg. So let's open that up. And the back, you know, shows you some information about the movie and stuff. So it's pretty sweet. Did I know from most that most of the scenes from Power Rangers are from China, Super Sentai? Uh, they're not from China, they're from Japan. So that there is a difference there. Um, and yes, I, I, I know about Super Sentai. I've done reviews of some Super Sentai things on the channel. And I've watched some Sentai seasons as well. So 
Yes, very familiar with Super Sentai. see how this how this goes if I can have him hold this maybe all right well whatever basically um he's got his little staff I was trying to get him to hold it here but I'm not, I'm not gonna waste time but there's there's the grandmaster Again, man, they did such a good job at capturing the likeness of the actors. Like, that's just, that's so well done, you know? Like, wow, that is really, really cool. Really, really nice done. Um, okay, let's see. Greetings from Germany. What's up? Am I going to stream Animal Crossing anytime soon? Maybe. I'll definitely do another Animal Crossing stream. I just, I don't know when. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I don't, I don't have an exact timeline on that one. Like, if I didn't have these unboxings, then I might have been doing an Animal Crossing stream instead, but I want to do these unboxings right now. Oh, no, this is cool. So check this out, if I can uh, have him hold this. What's up, guys? It's Korg. That's my terrible, terrible impression that I'm not going to do again. Um, but that is super, super cool. That Korg figure, man. He is hilarious, man. Taika does a great job with his voice and everything. Super, super cool. All right, please stop spamming or else I'm going to have to block you. Um, I really don't want to do it, but it uh, becomes annoying. Favorite sixth ranger from the Disney era. Let's see, that requires like thinking of like what's in the Disney era. Um, I guess Trent, even though he's the fifth ranger, would be a... a Sixth Ranger. Um, oh, but then also Shadow Ranger is kind of... I mean, I guess there's Omega Ranger. So do you count Shadow Ranger as a Sixth Ranger? Because I wouldn't say Sam is my favorite by at all. But, like, okay, it's a toss-up between Trent and Commander Kruger, I think. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I do like Gem and Gemma, but but yeah, I guess between Trent and Commander Kruger, probably. I hope we get a Time Force Red Lightning Collection figure someday. We are. Time Force Red is is happening, um, in in the the next wave, uh, right? I think isn't it? Or am I going crazy? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, Time Force Red is June. Yeah, there, isn't it on on pre order on Hasbro Pulse? I'm pretty sure it is. So definitely um, check that out if you haven't already. Sounds like some of you haven't. Uh, okay. Let me put some of these away because I'm going to run out of space on my little desk here as I continue to open up more figures. So I'm going to put them in this box right here. Give me a second. As I go through all these. Okay. Hello, hello, James TD. MGYT or X Senrax X, hello. Uh, last Airbender movie opinion. Um, do I want a pink Time Force Ranger lightning collection? Absolutely. Uh, last Airbender movie opinion. I yeah. I think the Last Airbender, this as a series has great live action potential, which is why I'm excited about that series that they're working on. The movie though just it didn't it didn't work. Um, it just, it didn't, no, it just, it, it just wasn't, wasn't very, wasn't very good. Um, all right, so here's Luis and Ghost. How's Maheen? Uh, thank you for asking. She is doing well. She's actually, uh, 
Uh, just got home from work and was tired, so took a little, uh, she's taking a little nap um, and resting. So I figured that'd be a good chance for me to hop on YouTube. But she's doing well, thanks for asking. No more coronavirus in three weeks time today, mate. Uh, we don't know that. Uh, we, we don't know how long this is all gonna last. Do I want a Turbo Ranger Lightning Collection figure? Um, I will always, I, I want Lightning Collection figures of like everything, um, definitely. Look, it's Luis. And again, man, look at how great they are at capturing the likeness of the actors and stuff. Like that is just, they did such a good job, man. Like, I just want him to, like, do the whole monologue right now, you know? Like, that's so cool. They've actually also created the, this, you know, giant ant right here. And they even have this thing from the movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, the little building that became the, the little, you know, with the, the rolling wheels, basically. So, like, that's so cool. I love these little things like that that they include in. It's It's so great. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy that Luis has a, a figure. All right. Are you and my hand planning on, on kids? Uh, one day. Yeah, I mean, one day we'd like to start a family. Uh, lockdown is over in three weeks, but don't know about the virus. Well, we, I, for now, the thing is lockdowns, can be extended. So things are things are very much in flux. I, I don't think it's fair to say anything concrete yet about that whole situation because things are just constantly changing. Uh, here's a ghost right here. I don't know. I never was super big on, on this character in the movie. Um, she was all right, but the whole storyline and stuff, like it just, it never fully clicked with me. Uh, but interesting design, I guess. And they have the... Uh, the other version where you can kind of with the head like cover up part of the face and stuff. So there's the, I do like that they included the alternate head though. So that is, that is pretty nice. All right. What is my next Power Rangers video? Don't quote me on this, but I think it might be Lightning Collection Wave 2, maybe? I know that's like, you're like wave two, aren't we on like wave four or something? Like we're like super, I know, I'm very behind. Um, but it might be something like that, I think. All right, now we have Captain America and Peggy Carter. Ooh. Uh, Michael Knight, what's your favorite Red Ranger battleizer? Ooh, um, oh gosh, I have to think through the battleizers now. Um, favorite battleizer. So... I will say, one that comes to mind that I kind of thought was interesting was, I think it was the Triassic Ranger. Wasn't that the one that had like the stretchy legs and stuff? That was kind of interesting. I also really like, I don't know if this is a battleizer. I mean, it kind of is, but basically the Shogun Mega, um, not Megazord, the Shogun form in Samurai, in Super Samurai. Uh, I guess it was more Super Samurai. Like it was mostly in the Zord cockpit that the Red Ranger used it. But in the finale, he actually battled with the full Shogun suit. That thing looked awesome. And I remember they, they made toys of that and Shogun versions of other Rangers, which were never in the show. But, like, that was a really, really cool original thing for the show. So definitely, uh, um, that, that's probably, you know, up there for sure. What time is it here? Yeah, it's like 5.34 p.m. Definitely. All right, so this Captain America comes with uh, just a, a blank shield right there. So you can hold it like that, but there's that. Uh, also comes with this gun right here. And comes with this knife. Uh, do you watch the toys that made us on Netflix? I, I've seen some of the episodes, like the Power Rangers one and some others. He used to paint it. Uh, and then the little, this little pistol here. He also, speaking of painted shields, he does come with this shield too. So different shape, 
Um, I do like this, though, because if you buy other Captain America figures, which I have more that I'll show you, you have the painted shield. So now I have this version, I have the painted one, I have this shaped one. So you get, like, variety, which is kind of cool. Um, okay. Talk, okay, remember how I said these figures? Hasbro does a great job at capturing the actors' faces. Oh my gosh, this is Chris Evans. Like, I literally, they shrunk Chris Evans and I, I own Chris Evans now. Like, that is, that is him. Like, what in the world? What kind of sorcery did they do to, to achieve that? Like, that, that is, that is Chris Evans right there. And there's actually a second head, which is very similar. So I'm not quite sure, like... Is there supposed to be a difference? Like, this one looks slightly like he's smiling a bit more, but it's basically the same thing. Um, yeah, I mean, right? Like, that's basically the same face, so that's kind of odd. Um, will you be at Morphicon this year if it is still happening? Um, I will not be. Um, things were just not working out for this year for me anyways. Uh and then he also has this little helmet here, so you can uh, have him wear the, the helmet. Yeah, so I, I will not be at Power Morphicon this year, if it even happens, which I have my doubts. Um, it uh, just didn't, didn't work out for me with the schedule. And here is Peggy Carter, which admittedly is not quite as accurate looking. Um, like Chris Evans was like, that is Chris Evans. This one is like, eh. I mean, I can, I can kind of see it, but it's not like, it's not the best. Hello, the official boy Dre. Hello. SPD Shadow versus Super Mega Force Red Ranger. Shadow. Um, because if you're talking Super Mega Force Red Ranger, yeah, he can change forms and stuff, but. It's still, uh, still Troy. Um, but yeah, here's the, here's the figure right here. All right. So now let me do what I did before and start to, uh, grab some of these things and, uh, uh, put them away so that I don't lose them. Give me a second here. I'm also still in the process of like completely reorganizing everything and cleaning stuff out. So um, I'm going to have a better storage solution for all of these eventually. But right now we're still kind of winging it. <sighs> did I see the Russian Power Rangers trailer? I did. I'm surprised at how much footage from the team up they showed. Like, it was mostly a trailer for the team-ups. It was like, oh, interesting, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the Nintendo Switch update. Some people are, are asking about the Switch update. Uh, I mean, yeah, I updated it. There's nothing nothing in there that, like, was major for me. I know, like, the button remapping is cool, but it's not something, like, I would need or use. But I'm glad that it's an option, and I know for some people it's it's great to have. So that's it's good that they're adding those options. More options are good, right? That's That's important. Uh, yeah, exactly, Maurice. Like, Troy has, you know, all those powers, but, like, it's still Commander Kruger. Like, you know, he has more experience and stuff than Troy. All right, so now we're getting the Iron Man and Spider-Man 2-pack, and I'm already dropping stuff. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of little, little pieces here. What generation is your Beyblade? So I have Beyblades, like, so I have some of the original Beyblades. And then when they started doing the metal ones. So I don't have any of the new Beyblade Burst stuff, but, like, all the older things. Um, all right. All right, I'm going to have to start to block some people because the same people are continuously spamming over and over. I said I was going to have to block, and uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. Iron Man, Spider-Man, a little bit perfect duo. 
Yeah, that's cool. I mean, there's a lot of like extra accessories and stuff here. This is really neat. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Oh, what is that? All right, I'll show you all this in just a second, but this is actually really, really neat. So you may have some versions of some of these figures already, but this set, the reason why I wanted it is some of these extra accessories and things that they included um, are really sweet. So let's take a look at Iron Man first. So you have Iron Man right here. And so this is the version that has like these, uh, do these come off actually? Oh wow, they actually do, they can technically slide off. So really this is the same Iron Man figure that probably was released before, but they added on the little blasters here, which do look really, really cool. Um, so that is, that's pretty awesome. But then you get these little blaster things. Is that Mark 85? It is Mark uh, uh, 50, Mark 50. Mark 50, Anthony. Um, and so you have the little blasters that you can like, you know, add in and stuff there. He actually also has the, the shield thing. So you can, I guess if I take off one of the blasters, it'll probably work better, but you can basically have, you know, him holding the little shield thing. Uh, and then it also comes with this little piece that has these things on it. So what you can do, if you remember in the movie, um, there are things that would like fly out of them and like, and shoot laser blasts and stuff. So you can have it like that. So this is meant to be like clear. These are like floating sort of, but that's actually really, really neat. So you can have them like, you know, look like that. That is really cool. I'm glad that they included that. That's, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, lots of great accessories there for that Iron Man. And the Spider-Man also comes with some good accessories. So I'm excited about this one. Spider-Man is my favorite comic book superhero. So Spider-Man does come with two alternate hands, like fist hands right there. Um, there's an Iron Spider figure, which looks pretty much exactly like the one that was released before, except maybe the arms have this extra gold piece on it. I don't remember those, but this is basically a figure from before. These, these look new, I think. And also the back little piece right here is new, I think. Um, so there's that. But the cool part about it is one, it's Tom Holland's face. So I got a little Tom Holland right there, which again, great job at capturing the likeness right there. And then in addition, this is really, really cool. Let me try and plug these in. if I can. They gave all the, like the spider legs on the back. Nope, that one just came right out. Uh... Give me a second to get the other two. Who is the best Spider-Man? I personally like um, Tom Holland the best. I feel like Tobey Maguire was a good Peter Parker, Andrew Garfield was a good Spider-Man, and Tom Holland is the best mix of the two, if that makes sense. I get the last one plugged in here. And so basically, oh, and this one just popped right out. Uh, if I can get them all plugged in here, you get the idea, but you basically got the, uh, the spider legs right there, which is really, really cool. So I'm glad that they added like these additional accessories for this two pack, you know, it makes it like worthwhile. And if you, especially if you didn't get the individual figures before, then now you get even more out of this uh, out of this set, which is which is great. All right, let's move these out of the way. Give me a second here. 
as I put some of this stuff away. Okay. Do you have all of the Marvel Legends characters? No, I'm missing a ton. Uh, and I don't want all of them. I'm, I'm getting a, like a lot of the, really I only buy ones from the movies, not comic book ones, except if I wanna get the Build-A-Figure, then I buy the wave that has the comic book characters too. But honestly, I think I'm probably gonna start to cut down to some extent on Marvel Legends. Like the Black Widow ones, I don't know if I'm gonna get those. Maybe, maybe after I see the movie eventually, like I'll be like, all right, I want some. So maybe, um, but I just, I don't know. I feel like, you know, through all the, the last few years and with Endgame and all that, I've gotten like a ton of the characters that like, I don't really need more figures of many of them, you know? Um, so, so there's that. All right, so those are all of the two packs. So now we get to go to the single figures uh, and see what those are like, which is exciting. So let's start with Heimdall right here. Make vlogs. I would love to do more vlogs. Here's the problem though. Um, in order to make the vlogs interesting, it can't just be me talking to a camera. Like I would be going somewhere, showing something, doing something, and I would do that with other people. The problem is a lot of other people in my life don't wanna be on video. Um, you know, like, my wife sometimes will be on camera, but she's not really into, like, the vlogging thing. Um, you know, like, the rest of my family and my sisters and stuff like that, you know, nobody else wants to be on camera. Um, and so, it, it, like, some of my friends don't want to, you know, so it's just kind of, I can't do a vlog if nobody else wants to be in the vlog, so I just don't vlog. Um... So I, I do sometimes, and, and I enjoy it. I, I definitely enjoy it. I would love to do more vlogs. I just, I can't, you know, because of what I just said, right? So that that's kind of how I feel about all that. Um, oh, this is super cool. All right, let me, let me have him hold the sword, and then I'll show you. Some of these figures, like, their grip is so tight that you have to, like, really stretch it at first to even get them to hold anything. Like, how in the world is this guy going to hold the sword with a grip like that? There we go. I had to stretch it open. So here's the awesome sword that he has. Well, this is Heimdall right here. Uh, Othman, am I a Harry Potter fan? Oh, absolutely. I have... Um, read the books and watched the movies many, many, many times. Um, I love the books. I also love the movies, although, you know, obviously the books are better, but um, it's, uh, I, I love all of it. I did actually recently, uh, as an anniversary gift, my wife got us tickets to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway. Uh, and so we saw that a few months ago and that was incredible. Um, yeah, I love, I love the whole Harry Potter series. I actually have right here as I drop stuff some wands actually I'm cleaning stuff out so they're sitting right here um this one is Harry Potter's wand can't remember where I got this but it's a replica of Harry Potter's wand um which is really cool but then what I also have Oh, you know what? This might have been, this might have been a gift, or I, I can't remember. Um, but then I also went to the Harry Potter Universal Studios, and I got my own Ollivander's wand. And I think I did it based on my like being born in January. I think is how I found this wand or something. I can't remember. But this is the uh, the wand right here, and it's got this like re weird skull and stuff on it. Like this one is kind of interesting for the design. I don't feel like it represents me at all, though, so I'm like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this being, like, my wand, but I do think it's a really, really cool design, um, and so I like it for, for that. I also have somewhere else, um, is it around here? The one from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Um, I got, I think I got Harry Potter's wand from there, too. Is it over here? I don't, I don't know where I put that one. It's somewhere. 
I don't know, but you get the idea. Um, okay, so anyway, so that's Heimdall, super, super cool. And then I have a leg right here, which we're gonna utilize in a second, so. Favorite Power Rangers couple? I guess it would have to be Jen and Wes, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Do I know Dan TDM? No, I don't. The name sounds familiar, but I don't. Should you get Animal Crossing? Yes, Animal Crossing is the best. Uh, what's your Harry Potter house? What's the lineup of Marvel Legends today? I kind of did a whole lineup at the beginning of the video and I'm already halfway through them. So I can't really go through it again, but it's basically a lot of Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame related type characters and releases. Um, that's sort of what I'm doing. Along with some of those anniversary sets, like a Thor Ragnarok set and stuff. All ending with my final unboxing, which will be Stan Lee. Um, but Harry Potter house is Gryffindor. Um, and I've taken the Pottermore quiz. I was in Gryffindor. Then they did the updated Pottermore quiz, still in Gryffindor. Um, I had this little sorting hat that's like one of those magic eight balls that you shake and look at the thing. And I did it and it's a Gryffindor. So I've just always been Gryffindor. Um, and so that's, that's what I'm at. All right, let's open up the next one, which is Vision right here. Might you do a coronavirus update in your country then? Uh, honestly, the thing is, I don't really know what, what updates there are to say specifically, aside from the situation is always changing. And we're all kind of just keeping an eye on the news and, and how how everything goes, you know? So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Your favorite one is Lucius Malfoy's one? Oh, what does that one look like again? I have to f look at that again and see. Um, some of the Death Eaters, man, they have some of the coolest ones, too. It's like, why do all the bad guys get all the good stuff, you know? is like through the plastic so I'm making a ton of noise. I hope the speculation of it lasting till 2022 isn't true. I don't know I you know I think it's one of those things that hopefully the main brunt of it all won't but it's just like the uh, I think to some extent a lot of industries and things are going to be forever changed because of this. Oh my gosh this is like stuck. There we go. Uh, so, well, you know, I, th I think there could be some lasting impacts for years. I don't think we're going to be stuck in our house till 2022, but, you know, we'll, we'll have to just kind of wait and see what, uh, uh, what happens. So, um, here's the, uh, so he actually does come with Thor's hammer, um, which, you know, he also comes with the main body of Thor, which we'll get to once I do the full build of figure. But here's Vision. He looks pretty much the same as far as I can remember from the, the, other Vision figure that I got, there was a two-pack that was Vision and Scarlet Witch. So I think it's pretty much the same. I don't remember if there's any differences, but, you know, very similar at least. Lucius Malfoy's wand is in the form of a cane. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. Ooh, that one is kind of slick. Yeah, that's cool. I hope this is over by the end of the year, though. I'm trying to graduate. I, yeah, I know how you feel. It's tough. Albus or Snape? Uh, like, for what? Like, in, in what context are you asking? Um, they're both interesting characters, but for different reasons. Um, what is my job? So, I work in healthcare, but I, I do, like, data analytics type work. So, yeah. Uh... Okay, let me move these two figures over here. Let's keep opening them up. Uh, I already answered your question. I don't know Dan TDM. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, wait, hold on. You watched Cure Major yet? I've watched the first episode. I want to watch more. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, to be honest. Um, but I definitely want to keep watching because I've seen some video clips and stuff or, and pictures and things, and it actually looks 
really fun. Um, I, I'm not planning on buying anything for Kira Major, but the show itself looks fun to watch and visually really interesting. So, you know, for that it might be worth worth checking out. Here's Captain America right here. So he comes with an arm for Thor, which we'll get to shortly. Now, speaking of shields, now we got a, a fully painted Captain America shield right there. So, there you go. Nice and shiny, too. And then Captain America. So I think this one is meant to be Captain America from the first Avengers movie. Um, because of the fact that, you know, spoilers for Avengers Endgame, you know, they, they time travel and go back to that time period. So this is like that Captain America again. Um, and I don't think I have a Captain America figure of the original Avengers suit. I don't, maybe I do, but I don't remember having that. Um, so this is cool to have. And uh, like there he is with the shield. It's awesome. As he just drops the shield. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really, really cool. There he is. And the nice thing, again, Marvel Legends figures, you can swap things out. I have Chris Evans heads from the uh, the other thing, the other Captain America I opened, so I can put a Chris Evans head right on here. And there you go. So I, I love that. Uh, T-Rex Buckley. So T-Rex Buckley, I, you keep you keep bringing this up over and over. So, so I'll say this, you know, one more time. Like, we don't know what's going on with the lockdown situation and all that. Things are constantly changing. Um, it's hard to really say. I You know, I know there's certain dates that some the lockdown is until, but it may be extended or not. Like, everything is in flux. So right now, the only message that I have to say about the coronavirus is I hope that everyone stays safe and just keep an eye on the news, keep an eye on what's going on, stay aware of what's going on, stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside, stay home, unless you're, you know, you you have to. Um, and just, uh, that that's really all I have to say about it. Whether it's this state or this country or their response to that, I don't, I don't really have anything more, you know, beyond to, to say. And make me want to buy some Marvel figures now, they look really cool. Yeah, honestly, like, the Marvel Legends figures are actually really, really nice. And I love the fact that now Power Rangers is under the same umbrella with Hasbro and Star Wars Black Series figures are also. So you can get Marvel characters with Star Wars characters with Power Rangers, all, you know, similar styles of figures, which is awesome now. Like, that's so cool, you know? All right. Let's keep this going. Um, I have... Valkyrie right here. Do I know who XXX Tension is? I, I've heard the, the the name. It's an artist, but uh I don't I don't think I've listened to their music and stuff. If you were the most famous YouTuber, what would you do? I don't uh I, I don't I mean I guess the only thing different is I probably, you know, I assume I would have a lot more money uh, and be able to, like, just do whatever at that point then, you know, like, but, um, so I guess I would be able to pursue more creative other, you know, other types of opportunities and things, which would be interesting, um, and be able to help other people out and stuff. I like, I like the big YouTubers like Mr. Beast, who are always doing things for the community and for other people you know like that's the type of stuff that I appreciate so I, I would want to be like that type of thing my favorite Marvel Legends figure that you have so far are trying to get oh that's a good question um gosh favorite Marvel Legends figure I don't know I I will say one of my favorites um is let me grab him real quick. The Hulk Buster. Just because of how big this figure is and how cool this thing looks, uh, the fact that they were able to do like this size scale figure like that, uh, I think is actually really, really cool. So I'd say this is probably one of my favorites. I don't know truly if it's my favorite. I'd have to go through 
all my figures again and see, but this is this is probably one of one of my favorites at least. Um, all right, I also uh, will be right back. Um, my wife told me to wake her up at six because she wanted to rest up a little bit. So I will be right back because it's six and then I'll be back in the stream. Hopefully I don't trip over all the tracks that's right here. Uh, entertain yourselves for a second. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Ugh. We are alone in the dark. It wasn't dark. <laughs> um, okay, give me a second. Cameron, happy birthday. That's awesome. Michael Knight, am I still trying to get that Charizard card? That's a good question. I, yeah, I still don't have the uh, Shining Charizard from Hidden Fates. I, to be honest, I haven't collected any cards in a while. Um, I would usually like go pick them up from GameStop or something, and I guess I guess I could order it online, but like I don't know. This this whole lockdown thing has kind of made me start to like cut back on stuff, to be honest. Um, here's a Thor leg that came with Valkyrie. So I mean, I'll probably still get Hidden Fate stuff in the future. I know there's a new Pokemon set that I think just came out or is about to come out. I haven't gotten any of those. I don't plan to right now. Maybe later. Um, yeah, like I said, the coronavirus stuff, like, I've really cut down on a lot of spending, and I'm just trying to take time to go in and organize and clean out stuff, you know? That, that's sort of where I'm at right now. All right, well, here, here is Valkyrie. So the cape does detach, but uh, looks really good. I'm glad that they ended up releasing a figure of Valkyrie. You know, I think we need more, more female character figures. Um, and so she also has her sword right there, which is cool. And it comes with the sheath as well, so you can uh, cover it up. Not like that, but you know, but it does have that. What are you doing to entertain yourself while quarantined? Um, Mostly uh, either playing Animal Crossing or uh, like watching, I'll watch like movies with my wife or watch stuff on Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. Um, what have I been doing lately? I've been watching a little bit of Sunny with a Chance on Disney Plus. Um, I've watched a few movies. We watched Knives Out. We watched Onward. Uh, I watched Parasite. Uh, I watched uh, the latest Jumanji movie. Um, yeah, so that kind of stuff. So, well, that's kind of what I've been doing. All right, let's move these figures out of the way. I don't think he can see me. I can see you. You're just so fast because you're the speedster flash. Get it? Uh, no, look, I, I can't answer every question or I would be answering everything in two words um so I just you know just know that like I, I can't answer everything and it's also exhausting if I were to try and answer every single thing that pops up um but I, I will try my best and I'm also trying to not answer questions that I've already answered multiple times or I like continuously always answer you know like stuff that kind of just gets tiring to keep answering over and over um but we'll see. I'll do my best. All right. Now we have this Iron Man Mark whatever. What is LXXXV? I, I don't I don't remember all the, the numer number, no, Ro, Roman numerals that much. Um, but uh, there's all that. Did I see Rise of Skywalker? Yes. I did. I personally enjoyed it. I know some people didn't. A uh, decent amount of people didn't. I enjoyed it, so, um, yeah. Okay. 
Endgame Iron Man. Extra, extra, extra large. <laughs> yes, we, this is the Iron Man Triple XL. Uh, how do you feel about all the Marvel movies being pushed back? I mean, it is what it is, to be honest. Um, I guess it makes sense because the thing is, look, they want to do all theatrical releases, right? And recoup all the money and all that. That makes sense. And so if you push one back, you got to push all the rest of them back because there's a plan, right? Like one might lead into another movie and then that one will reference other movies. So like you can't rearrange things too much or you're going to risk having to, you know, change out your plans and stuff. So they kind of have to just push everything back. So it makes sense. So I'm, I'm not bummed about it. In fact, actually, I probably would not have been able to see Black Widow in theaters because Ramadan's coming up and I don't usually go out and see movies in theaters and stuff during Ramadan. And so Black Widow would have been out during that time. I might have been able to catch it at the tail end, but now I can actually, you know, not have to worry about it and it comes out later. So that's, that is good. Favorite morphing call? I mean, like, it's Morphin Time as a classic. Um, but beyond that, um, that's tough. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. There, there's, there's a few different ones that are pretty good. So you have, uh, here's the, the Infinity Gauntlet. It's like in two pieces because you're going to slip this over his arm, which I'll show you. Um, but uh, that's basically, you know, what it, what it would look like. So it's the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. So that's cool that it comes with that. You also get the other Thor arm. Ooh, this is interesting. So you actually get four of these. Favorite morpher? Man, see, the thing is the favorite questions are the top this or best this or worst that. Like, those are the toughest questions, you know? Uh, it's called the nano gauntlet. Well, it's called that in different cases. So nano gauntlet maybe, but then also there's another Hasbro release, the giant one that called it the power gauntlet. Um, Nano Gauntlet probably is more accurate, but um, but there, there's a couple names for it in, in merchandise form, at least. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, see, I'm getting distracted. Too many questions like that. Uh, favorite Morpher. Um, like, the Mighty Morpher Morpher is classic, but I also, I like the in-space Morpher, the fact that it flips open and you push the numbers. I, I think the Chrono Morpher in Time Force, like, looks kind of cool. I like the Dino Thunder Morpher. The fact that it, like, you know, opens up like that and it's got the different dino plates and stuff on it. Uh, I like the Mega Force Morpher with the cards, the Gosei Morpher, even though it's like a giant tiki head thing. Like, it's kind of interesting. Super Mega Force with the Ranger Keys, of course, is a classic. Um, there, there's a bunch. I, I really, like... Those types of questions are always just so hard for me. I, 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 I don't really have, like, rankings or favorites or... It's It's tough. All right, so you have some alternate hands. So you have a, this little fist hand, you have this open hand, which is like the reverse of what's already on the figure. And then you also have this hand, which is uh, like what he had with just the, that little piece on it. Were you a fan of Tommy's Master Morpher? I like the idea of Tommy's Master Morpher. I mean, in execution, like, like I'm not dying to have a toy of it. You know, like, it's like, whatever. It's just a recolored Power Morpher. Um, if they release one, I'll probably buy it, but, like, I'm not, like, you know, dying to have it. Um, am I ever going to play Splatoon on this channel again? Um, I, um, I don't know, probably not. It's been a while since the game's been out. I haven't played it in a while either, but we'll see. You never know. Matthew Fernandez, wait, does that mean you had to wait a month to see Endgame last year because of Ramadan? Love your vids, by the way. Great question. So um, the way that it works is... So no, I didn't. I actually got to see Endgame like right away. The way that it works is uh, Ramadan each year is based on the lunar calendar. Uh, and so it's based on like the moon sightings and all that. And so it actually is a little bit shorter of a calendar. Like it's not 365 days, it's a little shorter. So... Ramadan each year is a little bit earlier. It's about, so it lasts a month, right? But it's about 10 days or like two weeks-ish, something like that earlier every year. Um, and so, 
Um, it's one of those things that like timing wise, it actually worked out where Endgame came out and then later on Ramadan started. Whereas this year, you know, it's getting earlier and earlier. So the, um, so now it's conflicting this year. The thing is, Endgame, I feel like, didn't Endgame get bumped up a little bit? Because I think I almost wasn't able to. I think it was right at the border, if I remember correctly. Um, and I feel like Endgame got bumped up a couple days or something. I can't remember exactly. But I, I remember it was real close. It was definitely really close. And, and I was kind of like, oh, great. How am I going to avoid spoilers for a month? Um, but luckily, you know, that ended up working out. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Like, at the end of the day, right? So here's the Iron Man figure. Really interesting. When's your next Pokemon unboxing? So like I was saying earlier, I don't have anything planned right now. Um, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. My Pokemon stuff probably is going to be after the lockdown is all done and all that. Then, then we'll have to see. Maybe. I don't know. That's my current feeling. So I'm swapping out the hand so I can show you what he looks like with the gauntlet on. If this will all work properly. Some of these are a little hard to, to attach on. Yeah, this one is difficult. Okay, well, sort of. You get the idea. Basically, this is kind of what it looks like with the gauntlet on. So, kind of interesting. All right, I'll take that off. Now the normal hand is kind of loose because that one's a big, big connection. Uh, Lightning versus Legacy figures. Both have their pros and cons. Do you think you'll do Lightning Cords? Oh, do you mean Zords? I think you mean Zords. Um, I think they will do Lightning Zords eventually. Um, I like Lightning Collection figures better than Legacy. Uh, the proportions and everything are better. The accessories, the civilian heads are fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not perfect, but overall, they're better and more consistent. The biggest thing about Lightning Collection figures right now, I think, is just the... Just like with Marvel figures and other stuff, like, sometimes you might get a bad one out of the batch and the paint isn't, you know, applied the best. That's more quality control versus just wrong paint, which is something that was frequent with legacy figures, you know, where, like, the gray belts and all that, like, all that kind of mess, you know? So I'm, I'm glad that it's, it's a, a better, you know, consistency in that sense. Muhammad Abid, hello, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? We're just kind of hanging out and I am poking stuff with this knife. So that's not good. I gotta be careful. Um, okay. Oh, this guy looks really cool. Iron Patriots. I do like this new whole paint scheme and everything that they went with for the Iron Patriot. So he also actually comes with, and this is pretty great, two uh, Thor heads. So I'm about to do the build a figure after this, but you get the two different Thor heads right there, which is great. And um, this dude looks awesome. What a beast. Oh man. Okay, let me get these additional accessories out first. Because this is actually really, really cool. Um, oh, man. I probably should have pulled out of this real quick. So where does the stuff go? Okay, let me just look at this picture real quick just to make sure I'm putting this stuff on right. So these... Okay. 
attach this one back here. And then these little pieces up top. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, by the way, blue is my favorite color. So um, that that should inform you of uh, this right here. Look at this. This is the Iron Patriot right here. So these four little pieces at the top were little attachments. So you can move them and, and stuff. Um, but... Uh, Look at that, man. This guy's like a tank. God, this is so nice. And I love the the sort of s kind of translucent metallic-y blue that they use with little bits of silver and red. Like, that is really, really nice. He really didn't get enough time to shine in this version of the suit in Endgame. But, man, this, uh, this does look really, really sweet. So, this is definitely one of the better ones. I definitely like this better than some of the Iron Man figures and stuff too. Like this is just awesome. What a tank, man. This guy is so cool. That is Iron Patriot right there. Um, all right, so that leaves us with the Thor Build-A-Figure next. So let me put some of this stuff away so I can make room for that. Uh, Okay, so now that I have all the ones from the figures I just opened, we're gonna make this build a figure. And, uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, I just wanna make sure I'm attaching some of the right, the right stuff to the right ones. Favorite lightning collection figure, Paul? Um, favorite lightning collection figure. I don't know if I have a... I mean, I guess I, I do like the Shadow Ranger and I like the Mighty Morphin White. The thing is, I haven't opened up a lot of them yet, so it's hard for me to say. But out of what I've opened, those are some of the better ones, I think. Noor. Hello, Noor. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Just trying to keep busy. Am I going to review Transformers? Uh, Josefa, I, I, I did a couple Transformers reviews back in the day um, for like Dark of the Moon, I think it was. Um, to be honest, I did a, I did a video um, that was like a, my haul for a bunch of Transformers stories, and that's one of my most popular videos. I just, the thing about Transformers... I just don't have as much fun reviewing them. Um, the complications, to be honest, and maybe I'm just old and I can't figure it out, the complications for a lot of Transformers are just... They're complicated. Um, the the transfer the transformations, I guess I should say. The transformations are complicated. Um, and it's... It's just, I don't know, it's just watching me struggle on camera trying to figure this stuff out and reference the instructions and all that, and then the time it takes to figure, it's just, it's too much. Um, so I just, I, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really enjoy them too much. I like the idea of Transformers, but many, many of the Transformers toys I get, I end up getting frustrated with, so. Why did you get the Fortnite lo no notification so late for that video? Um... YouTube. Blame YouTube. YouTube is annoying. Was I ever a Ghostbusters fan? I actually didn't watch uh, Ghostbusters until a few years ago. Um, and I'll be honest, I mean, it was okay. Like, I don't know. I, I didn't find it, like, super amazing. Like, some people, you know, maybe some people grew up on it or something. 
Um, I did watch the the newer, the all female Ghostbusters, and you know I enjoyed that one as well. Um, so I don't know. I just I don't have that attachment to the Ghostbusters franchise. Also, this arm just does not want to go in. Come on now. Uh, did you see Sonic? Yes, I did see the Sonic movie. Um, I actually enjoyed it. I did buy it actually too. I haven't rewatched it yet, but I bought it on digital. Um, there we go. I think it's pretty much in now. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So now, which Thor? Which Thor head do I put on first, or which one do I just put on? Should I do the one with the shades? Uh, take care, Noor. Have a good night. Um, I think I'm gonna do the one with the shades. Let's do that, just to complete the full look. All right, so this, this is the Build-A-Figure, and this was totally worth it. Look at that one. <laughs> oh man, this is, when I saw that this was the Build-A-Figure, I was like, that is actually hilarious. That is so great. Um, totally worth getting some of this. Um, I thought it was a great story arc for him in the movie, to be honest. I actually enjoyed what they did with it. And by the end of it, you know, when he got, um, Stormbreaker, which is right here as well. So I'll give him Stormbreaker. Like, like it was cool at the end when like he gets Stormbreaker and all the armor just appeared on him and stuff. Like I was like, that is, that is sick. That is so cool. So yeah, I, I thought he went through it. Um, uh, a very fair story arc for the character you know like it totally made sense um there you go there he is all right so that leaves us with three figures left to unbox okay three figures we have the captain marvel binary form like glowing and stuff we have captain america from endgame with mjolnir and everything so he's got the hammer um we all laugh my phone's all should be screen. And then Stan Lee. So we're going to end with a Stan Lee figure right here. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's let's open up Captain Marvel. And see what we got. I wanted to get this one because this was a special one. I do have a regular Captain Marvel figure, uh, but this one's like glowing and stuff too. Have I done Black Widow yet? I have not gotten any of the new Black Widow figures like from the movie. Um, I don't know if they're out yet or not or if they got delayed. Um, I have a Black Widow figure like a while ago and I have a Scarlet Witch figure that I got in the past also. It was a two pack with the Vision and Scarlet Witch. Um, nothing in today's video, but I, I have those from before. They're in my box of stuff over there. Um, oh, this looks cool. So check this out. You got the Black Widow figures already from Pulse? Okay, I had a feeling they were already out. I just, uh, I didn't order them. I don't know. I might get some of them. I might not. I'm still kind of debating what I'm going to do. Um, but, uh, check this out right there. Look at that. She's like glowing. Her eyes are glowing, the hair and everything. And then the little effects pieces and the glowing fists. That's so cool. And you can actually swap out, um, the fists and things or, or, or like put this piece on as well. Um, actually does this, I think it just attaches right onto the hands. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oops. Let me wrap this around the arm. So this is like, so I have the regular, you know, figure of Captain Marvel, and then now I have one that like glows and stuff too. And you can also change it with this version of the, the helmet, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's really neat. I like that. Oh, now this one I was excited about. I actually do have a Hot Toys figure of this pre-ordered. It got delayed by a few months recently, but um, Captain America from Endgame. This is uh, this is one of the the best moments in the MCU. This is totally worth it. I think this is a Walmart exclusive, and I had to order it online. I think I ended up getting. Did I get it off eBay or I can't even remember? I I think I had to pay more than than regular price because this thing was like 
I could never find it on Walmart's website because it was like sold out all the time. Um, and so uh, this is Captain America from Endgame. All right, take care, Noor. Have a good night. So there you go. And you can swap it out with what I just dropped. Uh, where did he go? There he is. I'm about to roll over his head with my chair. Um, here's the uh, Chris Evans right there. First Sentai season that I watched was Shinkenger. So I've watched all of Shinkenger, Gokaiger, and Q Ranger. Those are the three that I've watched all of. He also has this, the shield, which is like all damaged and stuff. Um, they didn't give one that's like broken or whatever, but at least it's kind of scuffed up and everything. Interestingly enough, Captain America himself doesn't re really look all bloody and bruised. I, they probably just reused a figure from before, to be honest. Um, would have been nice if they would have done that to really add to the effect, but unfortunately it's just a normal looking Captain America. But his shield is all bruised up. Um, and then he also has Mjolnir right here, which is awesome. So truly, let's let's give him the full combo. Um, all right, I probably have to swap out the hand or something to get give a better hand to grip the shield. Um, so he's not really gripping it very well right now. Um, but you get the idea. That's awesome. That is super, super cool. Captain America with the shield and Mjolnir. Awesome. All right. So that leads us to... The final unboxing for today. I think it just comes down to cost of how many accessories they can include, you know? Um, and since they already had a shield that they made before, they could just repaint it. Um, versus if they did a broken shield, they'd have to actually, you know, create a new mold for the pieces and all that. So it just comes down to um, cost. Um, actually, I do need this. So Harris Stanley, I was tempted to keep this in the box, but I just, I don't have space for all the boxes, so I need to get rid of it. Um, but I do love how they did the his little signature there. The side of the box also says uh, Excelsior um, and his signature and stuff too. So great, great box. There's the back right there too. Um, so I think the packaging is fantastic, but I just, I gotta open it up because I don't have space for all this stuff. And the cool thing is, since it's a Marvel Legends figure, I can mix and match with anything. I can give him any of the other accessories that I showed you, um, you know, so I can turn him into any other superhero. Uh, I mean, he already was a superhero though, right? How oh, interesting. Um, okay, so he comes with two accessories. One is this briefcase thing was this did he have this in one of the movies um, maybe this is from his avengers movie cameo i don't even remember to be honest um but there's this like little briefcase thing the thing is uh you can't hold it because there's no handle or anything so i guess it's just meant to just sit there next to him um but there's that uh but this is what he comes with so here's the accessory which is captain america shield but it has like stanley and stuff on it there which is really really cool it's a checkerboard. Oh, is it? Okay, maybe, but it's like folded though. Cause it's got little clips there and it's like, so is it a folded checkerboard? Is that what it is? Maybe that's what it is. Um, okay, but here is the one and only Stan Lee figure. A folded checkerboard from the first Avengers. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. That is super cool. Yeah, I mean they did a great job. Like that that is his likeness right there. Like they they did it. That is super, super cool. Favorite Avengers movie? Uh Endgame. Infinity War 
you know, is, is probably second. Like, I think the two of them together make, like, the ultimate movie, you know, uh, the ultimate story. So here he is right there, Stan Lee. That is super, super cool. It's awesome. Yeah, well, with that being said, that wraps up all of the Marvel Legends reviews that I, uh, uh, that I had to do an unboxing for. Um, there was a lot of stuff, but it was really, really cool. Definitely uh, a lot of fun. So hopefully you all enjoyed that unboxing. So with that being said, um, I am going to wrap up the live stream. Because I've been sitting in this room all day uh, working on uh, videos, or not videos, or like working from home and now working on videos. Uh, when is your li next live stream? I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, it just all depends on timing and how I feel. But I do have a few videos uh, that I've been editing and working on, um, which I'll try and get out soon and just keep continuing down the backlog of videos that I have. So hopefully we'll get some more stuff to you all soon. So anyways, thank you all. As always, take care and I will see you all later. Bye everyone.